Come on in, Senator Bill Cassidy, Republican from Louisiana. Senator, we know that you are also a doctor as well as a senator. What do you make of this proposed California deal which would force vaccination of kindergartners? Well, there's a lot of vaccines that are currently required of kindergartners. Yep. But this is the way a mandate should work. It shouldn't be the federal government pushing it down. It should be state officials or local officials, thereby the parents have more interaction. Now, I'm for pre-vaccination, pre pre-matriculation requirements, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, mumps, rubella, et cetera. We're comfortable with that. Um, so the state better do a better job of making parents comfortable with COVID and explaining the rationale or they'll have a problem. But I'm very relieved it's the state, not the federal government, approaching it this way. But, I mean, we had this report at Johns Hopkins. Basically, I'm sure you've seen it, Doctor. That Johns Hopkins is saying that all those lockdowns and closures did not affect the death rate from COVID. And they're saying this was all wrong. It was bad public policy. I think, yeah. are we beginning to see the end of these top-down mandates? I think so. And we're, earned, we're in fairness, we didn't know what we were doing going into True. it. True. Uh, and so folks are now learning. And to the degree that we learn that something works, well, think about doing it again if situation requires. Mm -hmm. And if something doesn't work, toss it out. Right. Uh, so that's the whole thing about this pandemic. We've been a little bit learning on the fly, um, but I think that's the new norm. I think the public schools have failed uh, during this pandemic. Do you have a solution like, for example, a school choice? Absolutely. <laughs> if a parent can't get their child educated in a public school, even though the teachers have been vaccinated and we have all these billions to protect everybody, they should have the choice of their child going to another school which happens to be open. This should be market driven with the, parent, with the, with the student and the parent of the student first not the vested interests uh, that are just kind of pulling paychecks but never showing up. Yeah, I'm with you all the way on this one, Senator. Next subject, uh, Senator Joe Manchin yesterday had this to say about Build Back Better. It's brief, just watch it again. Roll it, please. What Build Back Better do? <laughs> there is no, I mean, I don't know what you're all talking about. You haven't had any talks about that no, since December. No, 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 it's so, dead. No, 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 Build Back Better, better is dead. Will Democrats admit this? It's finally over? Move on? Well, the fact that they haven't talked to Manchin means that they're not serious about it. And with inflation raging at 40-year highs and them attempting to, bump, uh, to, to pump trillions more to make inflation worse, it better be dead. Um, so so uh, I think it's good that it's dead. I think there's better policies that can achieve better ends that don't drive up inflation. I'm glad Joe took a stand. Uh, oil hit almost $90 a barrel this morning. I guess. Yeah, speaking that's, of inflation, right? Yeah, energy price inflation. But actually, that's pretty good news for Louisiana, your state, which is very much an energy state. Well, it's good news for the state, but I will say that there's a sweet spot. You want to be able to encourage production, but you don't want to make people pay so much at the pump they can't afford to drive to work. This is a direct result of the Biden administration's assault on Americans' pocketbooks by attempting to limit the amount of oil and gas produced in the U.S. And it's, they, they figure that if we pay more, we'll use less, and so therefore it's better for the environment overall. Yeah. Turns out now we just import it from Russia and Saudi Arabia. Oh, boy, that worked out really well, didn't it? <laughs> uh, right. Another example of their failed policies. Senator, you're an example of efficiency in interviewing. You've just covered four major areas in three and a half minutes, and that, sir, is brilliant. We'll see you again soon. Senator Bill Cass uh, Cassidy. Thank you. Thank you, sir.